be a good one. I'm ready. Roll that shit. Welcome to the Naked Truth. Hey, this is Mr. Wired Up. Welcome to the Naked Truth. Welcome to the Naked Truth. The Naked Truth. To the Naked Truth. Tap in. Today's subject, my good people, is going to be on my favorite subject ever, ass. Hmm? No? What? Astrology. So what we're going to do is dive into the different character traits of each zodiac sign as it pertains to entertainers. I've, I've, I've worked tirelessly, 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 tirelessly? Let me spell that shit out. Tirelessly to bring you this information. I've done extensive market research, field research, uh, 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 personal research to get the most accurate, on point information so I could bring it to you. And I've done a lot of things that I did not want to do that my girl did not agree with to bring you this info. So I hope you appreciate it. Let's get into it. Now, after I go through each individual sign, my opinion of each individual sign and what I noticed and whatnot, then I'm gonna rate them what I would tip them on stage ranging from a dollar to a hundred dollars, just for the purposes of the show. It makes it simple, all right? I can tip more than a hundred, but today a hundred is the highest, a dollar is the lowest. I don't think anybody's gonna get one dollar rating but they might. Let's start with Aries. Now, Aries, now keep in mind though, this is all my personal experience. If I'm wrong, form your own opinion and go with that. But this is what I've seen over the past few years, a lot of years. And just, I'm sharing my opinions with you, things that I observe. Aries are very, they're freaks, high-spirited people. And it translates well in this business even if it's only just a fantasy. And they're very good at presenting that fantasy in a certain way that makes people feel that, you know, they really got that chance. But they also can be drama queens. They're very good with older customers. They're good with the younger customers too, but they tend to lose patience faster with the younger customers than they do with the older ones, which is nothing wrong with that. I understand why. Don't penny pinch with them because they will call you cheap in no uncertain terms, they will not beat around the bush when they call you out. So in my opinion, if Aries is on stage, she gets $100. Give me that ass, astrology, astrology. Let's move on to the Taurus women. I know a few Taurus women. One thing I noticed about them, just observing them, is that they're very fucking sarcastic, but they can play it off as sexy. I don't know how to explain that. Oh, big sexy. <laughs> Honestly though, the Taurus dancers that I know are some of the most hustling ass, crazy hustlers that I know. I can't even bullshit with you. They really are. That's once they get over their laziness though, because they can fall victim to that a lot of times. Probably because every Taurus I know always has repeat customers. So I don't know if it's that they're banking on those customers coming in or knowing that they coming in, they don't really, you know, engage with everybody. But once they get over that, yeah, they cold, man. But if they think you're running out of money and they done broke you for everything that they can break you for pretty much, they're going to order some food on your tab. So I would tip a Taurus on stage. $40. I didn't really know too many Leos. I've known enough though, enough entertainers. But one thing I did notice about them is that after they get off stage, you're gonna remember them from stage. That's one thing about them, they're real good at that. They are is immaculate. They take pride in the way they look. You know, they're well put together. You know, hair, makeup, it's all on point. I'm not gonna say all of them because you do have ones that slack off. That's neither here nor there. But a Leo's personality is to be put together. That's just how they like to present themselves. 
And I have seen a Leo hop off stage, walk over to a dude, snatch his phone out his hand because he was recording it and was repeatedly asked not to do so. So they don't play about that either. I like the way they move. I like the way they carry themselves. So I'm going to tip them $50 on stage. And then we can talk about it after you get off stage where I want to get some more dances. Is that fair? No. On to the Geminis. My favorite. Geminis are known to be two-faced, but I wouldn't really say two-faced. I would say they have multiple personalities that check in and out at any given moment. I think the Geminis adapt very well to this business because they put on a persona at the club and they can easily take that persona off when they leave. They're two completely different people. So they're very good at selling a fantasy as well, just like Aries, but I think the Geminis really believe it in their head as opposed to Aries understanding they need to sell it. But Gemini is actually giving you who they are at that moment, if that makes sense. They got a hell of a work ethic, but if you're one of those customers that come in there just I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. Go to the ATM, my man. Go to the ATM, because what you got in your pockets is not enough. I've dated a few Geminis in the past, and just off experience alone, I will give them $20 on stage. And more in dances later. Virgos. I like them, I guess. I think it's the fact that a lot of the Virgos that I've met are afflicted. Something there's a screw loose. They're very ambitious though. They're very ambitious, there's nothing wrong with them. And maybe it's just I'm a Sagittarius, Virgo, that type of energy. I don't know, sometimes we mix, sometimes we don't. One thing I do notice about them is that they are very sensual. Like Dust Till Dawn, when, the, when, the, when Selma Hyatt came with the snake, she was playing a Virgo in that movie. Had to be. They good, man. I just, I gotta give it to them. I will give them that. Very persuasive. Too persuasive. Virgos get 20 on stage. Out of spite. You. Scorpios. Scorpios. You know how they say gangsters move in silence? That's pretty much the definition of a Scorpio. I'm not saying they are silent. But they all about quiet, deceptive money. You never know what the fuck they thinking. They'll sit in the corner, scoping out the scene, and zero in on one, and they'll go get it. They can get money out of any type of customer. Old, young, white, black, Asian, purple, green. They're real good at working the floor. They can handle any kind of customer as far as, you know, the belligerent kind. They can get them to calm down. They can do that. They real good at that. I don't know what it is, but they that's from my personal experience, they real good at that. Scorpios, of course, get the honey. Now let us speak on my Sagittarius sisters. Sagittarius women are usually some of the first women in the locker room to tell another dancer, you might want to put some deodorant on. Or uh, you don't think you want to change that outfit? Or maybe you want to touch up your makeup. It comes from a place of kindness, I promise you it does. The stage set list that they give the DJ for them, they love those songs and you can tell when they dance to them on stage. And even if they don't, they can pretend very well that they love those songs and it translates to the crowd and they get tipped very well on stage because of their bubbly personalities. I guess it's just a Sagittarius thing, gotta be. So my Sagittarius sisters get a hundred $100 on stage. Now, I don't know too much about the Capricorn entertainer. I know a couple, but we don't, I don't, I haven't really had a chance to, you know, fuck, interact with them too much. But what I do know about them is they got the old hoe mentality, I'm veteran stripper mentality, and they can analyze somebody from a mile away. That's a gift, and that's a good gift to have. So, they get 60. 65. The Aquarius entertainer is, is a special case because 
they will make a customer feel like, oh, money's nothing. Money is nothing. Means nothing to you. I mean everything to you. Give me money. And make them feel a certain way and they will give them the money. It's a very majestic thing that they have about it. And it's very interesting to watch things unfold. But I've also seen an Aquarius dance a donkey kick a customer behind him trying to get a little bit too familiar with her while she's on stage. But she still got the money. The weirdest shit ever. After she kicked the shit out of him. Maybe he liked it. Aquarius get the high 70, but I tell you one fucking thing, you donkey kick me, my girl gonna give you five. Pisces. The Pisces entertainers that I know, they work the room like no other. They will talk to every single customer in that room. No problems. They make everybody feel welcome. They're inviting, they're always inviting. They good, they got wonderful people skills and people love them for those people skills. They're amazing when it comes to that. The ones that I know anyway. I've known a lot and everyone that I know for the most part, they work the room the same way. They got a work ethic that's uncanny. Oh. Honey Stroke, $100. The Cancer Dancer. <laughs> they the main ones. Come on, come on, come on. Tip me, tip me, yeah. And motherfuckers do that shit. They can also play the role of a bleeding heart. If a guy's going through a rough time with his girl or his wife or something along those lines, she can sit there and listen and give him a pat on the back and it's gonna be all right. But not if he's broke though. They will politely excuse themselves expeditiously. It ain't about the money. They get a hot 40 on stage. Let's move on to these Libras. Now Libras can be kind of control freaks, which doesn't really fly with me because I'm a very dominant person. I'm dominant, not domineering. There's a difference. And that can go from anywhere, you know, to their stage set, the music that they're getting played. You know, they don't like it when the DJ just picks music out the air, especially if it's a new DJ. Now, a DJ that they know and they can pretty much trust he knows what they want to hear. That's a different story. They're usually the ones that, you know, if they're sitting with a customer and he has a stack of ones and they're not really spending it, they're killing me. Let me take this up to the stage. And, and they'll, they kind of control how the customer spins. They do it in a way that doesn't really put the customer off. It's an art to it. Even if it's not what you're into, you might still like it. But they're also kind of big babies if they don't get their way. So for the big babies, y'all get... 40 on stage. Go to the back and cry, why don't you? I'm hearing there's some new Zodiac sign they came out with, like a new shoe or something. It's oh, officious? I don't know what it is. I'm telling you right now, you come up to me talking about you some officious or whatever that sign is, you get a dollar. Get out of here. I'm not having it. I just won't have it. But no matter what your sign is or what you get tipped on stage, once you get off that stage, you can still get to the bag. So get to it.